it's Keza, also known as Skyla Loves Gardens, back with day 15 of 31 days of subgenre horror challenge. And today's subgenre was aliens. And I've chosen the 1985 movie directed by Tony, Toby Hooper, which you may recognise that name from a very very good franchise but I'm directing life well no I'm reviewing life force sorry um, starring it has Patrick Stewart in this so for that name alone it should be a good movie <laughs> um, Steve Rails back Peter Faith Frank Finley Nicholas Ball and Phil Demay. So, um, this like at first, it's about it starts with like a space shuttle crew. It finds a mysterious spacecraft containing three what looks to be like humans, but they're actually human-looking creatures in a state of suspended animation. And you bring the but and you. Like they bring them back to work for further investigation, but the scientists discover that they are in fact a race of space vampires. But when you like, you're thinking, oh, all oh, space vampires are oh, they suck blood and stuff like that. No, they don't suck blood. What they actually do, they feed off people's life force rather than the blood. So when they escape and they run them off, because this was set in London, England. <laughs> First time I'm reviewing a film in this horror franchise that's it's in the UK, thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, so they run the Mark of London and it's it's an all out apocalyptic war. Everybody's frantic, don't know what to do. And the shuttle's only survivor, which is Carlson. He's the only man that stops them. Like He's the only person that like can stop them, and like all in all, it was like, oh wow! Because like when I first watched this, I'll tell you about my first experience, and then I'll carry on. Um, I didn't really like this, but now watching back again, I absolutely think this is brilliant. But anyway, like I love the different settings of the film as well. So <laughs> to carry on. They end up going to the Europe Space Research Centre in London where the, they're like wanting to do some tests and experiments on the bodies and what actually happens is the female one, she's really good in this, um, the female one, she uh, she's the one that's taken all the, the victims near enough the other two the males that were with her something happens to them so yeah the female one at first her first rampage was like one of the workers in the lab and then she just escapes from the lab and just goes around London finding all the bodies that she can but what she can do she can um while she's in like one place she can transfer her body as with the other two guys from person to person which that's what I thought that was really amazing about this and then they had to go somewhere else they found a woman that she transferred herself into and that's where Patrick Stewart's character appears as the psychiatrist and then she transfers her body into his it was like wow <laughs> but Carlson's character he like he finds he find out where he is and then he decides to tell the like the, the Prime Minister and a few other people look there's something I haven't told you because when they originally went because he was Carlson was actually found in Texas not in London so there's another twist to the story um, Carlson begins to tell one of the the researchers what I 
actually happened on the ship because he burnt he burnt the ship. Because the girl and the two guys took the life force of all his crew members apart from Carlson. <coughs> so Carlson decides to take it upon himself. He burnt the he burnt the ship and then that's how they found him in Texas. He got into like a pod and then he went to Texas. But he saved it. And then in the end he reveals that she's took some of his life force and then he had to in return do something for her. And then he had to give his life force back to her. And then we actually found out in the end that the only way that they could be killed is like something similar to a vampire where they say, oh, it's a steak, but it wasn't. This was, it, it was a lead steak, not in the heart, just a little bit further down. And yeah, that's like the gist of the film and what it was about and all that. So my thoughts on this, <laughs> even though I said my thoughts, like at first, as I said to you, never liked this at all but after giving it a second watch i thought this was bloody fantastic um there's a lot of nudes in this i know i should be putting my fingers there because of the cover um a lot of good scenes in this and there's quite a bit of nudity like not in like sexual preferences it's like just she's walking around naked so but all in all, this is a good one to watch, highly recommended, and yeah, <laughs> great. I just, I just like the whole ambience of this film, the whole, the way, the way that she goes around killing people, and then two hours later, they re, they, they like come back, but they need to have life force to s sustain. So they, they can keep alive. But if not, they just disintegrate. I love that. <coughs> That's what I forgot to mention as well. So, I am actually going to give this a 4 out of 5. It was, I just loved the whole story. Everything about it. The story. The ambience. The, the whole setting. And just everything looks really good. 4 out of 10, I'm going to have to give this a 9 out of 10 because this was, I know people are going to like hate on this but I just love the whole spacey vibe to this and like the whole, just all the special effects and of course John Dijkstra's on the special effects on this so he does good special effects so yeah I just love everything about it so yeah that brings me to the end of this review hope you enjoy it um, which brings me on to day 16 and it's witches see I have my little list here but I've I've got a feeling which one I'm going to do tomorrow so yeah day 16 will be on the subgenre witches <coughs> Sorry, and of course, stay gory, have unpleasant dreams, and I hope you enjoyed this review as best as I can do it. Ta ta for now. <laughs>